G'day trendsetters, today I'm coming to you from Woodbury, Georgia for the Kissing Bridge Classic hosted by Chain Buster Racing. On the right there is Jason, he is the gentleman who runs Chain Buster Racing. Hello. That is Bo. He's racing today. By which category are you racing today? Uh, male Masters 40 plus long. Jason, tell us about uh, Chain Buster Racing because you've been producing a lot of gravel races over many years. You're not some Johnny Come Lately to the party. Correct. We've been uh, producing gravel races now for um, probably seven years. About four years ago, we expanded the series uh, to be five races, uh, sometimes six in uh, non-COVID years and we can pick up uh, venues a little easier than what's currently happening and so yeah gravel is one of the things that that we love the environment of and we love uh, setting up and the community involved in um, in gravel racing jason bo thanks for your time today's event is hosted at the fitzgerald fruit farms here in woodbury georgia uh, excuse me do i know you right it's meeting time two miles from the finish line area okay. um, and please obey everyone is sorted out by starting positions here on the start finish road age groups and so on hey folks i'm here with sean no he's not clowning around he is the proprietor of white tower bicycles one of the finest shops north of atlanta georgia if you want a gravel bike go see this gentleman how's it going guys good luck cheers hey i'm tony and we are on our first race with Philip. Hi, I'm Phyllis. I'm here on my very first gravel race. Super excited to be here, and I'm going to keep up with this one over here. Good luck, ladies. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome time. We're going to have a great time. This is my category, Long Grand Masters. That sounds way too old, I have to say. What do you reckon, blokes? Yeah, well, you know, it's your grandfather's category. And there's a Ultra Masters. So when you're 80, I think, or 70, what is it, the Mega Grand Ultra Masters? I really don't know. It's with a, a fellow Australian, Jeff Hopkins. He's a chronic sandbagger, used to be a professional cyclist, nowadays he's a slacker. Mate, what's your ambition for today's ride? I'm just trying to make it to the finish, my first ride in six months. The excuses have started already. This is the long open and singles B category trendsetters. There's a lot of badass riders here. Are you nervous? One minute to go. No. Nervous? Uh-uh. Alright then. <laughs> nervous? You guys are boring, got nothing profound to say. Excited, excited to race. Three, two, one. Go! Be safe out there. Woo! Slipping into the back of the 50 plus group, the Grand Masters. Morning. Still a really dodgy name, I can't get over this Grand Masters. <laughs> and we're off and running. The front group is flowing the coop until media today. So no worries. We really need to have two hands on the handlebar for this descent here. Beautiful course thus far, I have to say. They are hammering it in the front. A bit of mechanical trouble here. Everything good? These people, guys and girls ahead of me, have not hung around. They are drilling it. I've been riding by myself here, cruising along, trying to keep them in sight, been holding 240 watts. Incidentally, I'm running the Garmin XC200 rally pedals. It's not really reassuring seeing my power numbers. Lack of power mostly and dodgy legs. If you don't like rolling hills, this is not the course for you. They rated it at 4 out of 10 for difficulty. I think it's higher than that. Morning. Morning, morning, John. How are you, bud? Alright, mate, just cruising. I do like playing cameraman, I can slack off a little bit here. Looking good, mate. If 
folks, Tommy's a long time friend of mine from Tampa, Florida. He resides nowadays in Asheville, North Carolina. 200 pound mountain goat. This is the Clydesdale group. These boys are not hanging about. Morning, I'm filming the photographer. This is one of the road sections, it's very wide open. Either side you've got Timberland. Appreciate the volunteers helping out today. Thanks mate. Hats off to the course designer. This is indeed a very beautiful course. Even though I'm not really racing, need some energy. Bike is pretty stable, I have to say, and it's a nice descent. You are doing awesome. I'm just doing video actually. <laughs> the riders ahead, I think they've been dropped from groups ahead of me. I'm kind of in no man's land, no person's land. Right turn on to looks like some forest road action. This is quite nice. So far so good, you are clear. Thanks mate. If you came to this video looking for a stellar performance and inside the front couple of groups, you're sadly going to be disappointed. The one advantage of providing mega media coverage at today's event is that I can stooge around. No race number, see that? Not being timed. Hoping I'll catch some of the riders further up the course, we'll see. Of course, there are a lot of fast riders here today. As was evidence, by the very fast start, I was fumbling around trying to hold this bloody berry camera and <laughs> keep them in sight. Not recommended. Oh, yo, nor is that. Now I know there's one burning question on the minds of the viewers today, and that is, which bicycle am I riding? None other than the Harley Tobacco XD with SRAM's newest rival ETAP electronic drivetrain wireless with hydraulic disc brakes. This ride and a bunch of others are going to feature in my long term review. And it will sit that I've already reviewed the Bird BERD Spokes GVX22. Check it out in the description below. Now it looks here like we've got a mechanical problem. And we're going to embarrass them on camera by showing how slow they're changing the flat. <laughs> oh, very good. Excellent. Nice job. Hopefully get it resolved soon. I really need to revisit this part of Georgia. It is stunningly beautiful. Well, I should say I've been close by, ridden close by, but never had a chance to ride around this particular county, etc. Morning. I think I've been with you in the past. Yeah, you have. Take a break. That's right. Signs of heavy rainfall from a few days ago. Even the paved roads along this course are quite marvellous. I've seen about, I think, three cars total. And the weather is absolutely 
bloody spectacular. Yes. Hello, this is rest stop number two, and it's time for a snack. Admire this beautiful tree canopy. It's provided me a little respite from today's heat. It's not too hot. It's about 30 degrees Celsius, about 79, 80 Fahrenheit. US Postal. so much variety of terrain on this course steep gravel regular gravel hard pack red clay and more morning well we're somewhere it's quite busy Merriweather County apparently all right it's time for a snack Very interesting part of the course. Oh, yeah, right in one handed, there's a railway bridge. Right in one handed always takes a bit of uh, relaxation skills. And I'm in the wrong gear. <laughs> this be a dodgy section of course they warned us about. It's actually not that hard, but one-handed. Just got dusted by some wanker in a truck. <coughs> yeah, nice and slow down. It looks like there was a controlled burn of some kind in the forest to my immediate left. Much of this area is Forest land. Just over 10 miles or 16 kilometers left to ride off today's beautiful course. Beyond the tree line, I wish you could see it. Very interesting house. Bit of a sludge pit here, here we go. Hmm. And I'll try and film this and not fall over. No, this is going to be a problem. Okay, to clip out, folks. Oh, here we go. She was about to get filthy here, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to preserve the sanctity of my beautiful kit and not get too sludged today. I guarantee you somebody rode that little mud hole back there. I'm sure I could have ridden it too, but uh, one-handed with the old camera is a bit tricky. Well, I am getting better with my skills one-handed. But... I've been riding with Stan on and off today. He's been riding uh, a very... Very upright mountain bike with uh, some crazy extensions. Whatever works. This is my first gravel ride, so. Ah, oh, nice one, man. Well, welcome to the insanity. Right turn onto the covered ridge road. Oh, it's closed through traffic, but not the cyclists. Beautiful view of the surrounding hillside. Oh yes, I've ridden this bridge before, trendsetters. In fact. I'll overlay some drone footage of that experience. Yes, hello. Here's a quick look inside the Red Oak Cover Bridge, folks. The reason this bridge is closed, folks, is because some dumb <laughs> drove a box truck through here and basically trashed a bunch of the trusses that support the roof. I'm filming the camera lady as I exit the bridge. <laughs> Another bridge for your viewing delight. This be a railway bridge. Oh, here we are, folks. 
the end of the ride. What a beautiful day for a ride. Very nice. Hi Dawn. Well folks, that about wraps up today's video. As you can see, I'm in civvies. I hope you enjoy tagging along. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos such as this one, ride experience videos, bike reviews, product reviews, and other insanity as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you and you in the next video.